Lucas Media. So, future number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, and when it, for, the, for the Chicago Bears, went viral. Looked like he was at a USC women's basketball game. And as y'all can see in the image, he has a pink phone. And he also looked like his nails are painted pink, right? So, of course, I've seen it go viral. Everybody all over the news outlets, the major, the corporate America outlets are giving their thoughts. And here's my thoughts, honestly. And a lot, a lot of people are in uproar about this. This is what I wish a lot of us older people would understand. Number one, we kind of grew up for more blue collar people. And meaning like pre-social media some of y'all got parents like mine who was born in the 40s or 50s or whatever. Totally different time. We seen people totally different. You know, we grew up in times where our uncles could build a house and change your cars without even going to mechanical school. So that's number one. Number two, they grew up in a social media era. And this painting a nails thing is some is that's what's in style. Do I agree with it? No. Pink phone, no. But that's the same thing when our parents used to tell us, man, why your shirt too big? Why you got on a 3X FUBU shirt? You know, we grew up in, in, in different eras. Honestly, I don't care what, what his hands look like, what his phone look like. He better be able to go out there and throw that ball. I know. I tell you that. Because people are saying he's supposed to be the goods, the next thing. Can he throw the ball? Yes. I've watched plenty of film with the sound off and try to study it. Yes. He can throw the ball. Is that going to translate to the NFL? We don't know. But they do this every year, every two years. It's the next greatest thing. Remember they said Trevor Lawrence was the, was the next greatest thing? And I can really go back before that, but they say this all the time. This quarterback, he's something different. He's something special. Hell, we took Mitchell Trubisky in the, for the second overall pick. I believe I believe he was a second pick. Second or third pick. I think it was second. We traded up to get him. And we passed up on Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes. And people were saying, oh, well, Mitchell, man, he's... You know, it's something, it's something different about him. And who... I remember they, people were saying Mac Jones was going was, was gonna to be a game changer. And... I don't know. It just, I'm not, this is what I want. I want him to be able to go out there and play because we got rid of Justin Fields, who I thought we shouldn't have got rid of. We had the number one overall pick. We could have traded back and got more capital for Justin Fields, but I get it. You know, the, um, the administration, or should I say the, the staff, for the Bears, they want to go in a new different direction. They didn't draft him, so it makes sense. But, you know, I think we're making a big deal about this. About this image. I mean, yeah, he was crying when he lost. I forget the game last year with USC. Yeah, he got a pink phone, pink nails, whatever. But I don't care what he do if he can go out there and throw that ball. Because do y'all remember when Ricky Williams and Mike Dicker, Ricky Williams had on a dress? And Mike Dicker had on a suit, talking about them getting married. And this was what? What year Ricky Williams get drafted? <sighs> I think it was in the 90s. So, <laughs> you know, and he was a heck of a good football player. Hall of Famer? No, but, you know, there was a big story behind that. So, I just want us to, to relax. You know, they're younger than us. We're not going to understand their generation. You know, and I'm glad I'm not in that generation, honestly, but we're not going to understand it. It is what it is. As long as he can go out there and throw the football, you know, we'll 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 be good. So I don't want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?